Murphy, two innings, dominant as the closer once again. And if the pitching is going to pitch like that to go with the hitting this year, it could be a special year in Adelaide. <laughs> All right, so pretty much, I'm gonna to try to make this pretty quick, um, and thank y'all for being here for this, because it's kind of, kind of a big deal to me. Um, so not many of y'all know, but I'm actually diagnosed bipolar. Um, main thing is, is when you are diagnosed with this, you kind of come up thinking that you have something wrong with you. You're told you're crazy. You're told all this stuff about you that you just don't believe, you know. But it is that fact. Like I can't hide that I have days where I can't think logically like I did the day before. It was important for me to tell my teammates about this today because having friends, having people around you to support, motivate in the right way um, is probably the most valuable thing I got. I don't know if you all can tell, but I'm always happy. I'm always jumping around. I always got more energy than half the world. But the days where I am the darkest, I bet most of you all know that. You can tell when I'm out. If y'all didn't know this about me, y'all would treat me exactly like everybody else, right? That's what I want. But now you know, you can help me when I'm not right, when I'm not feeling good, you know? Just be aware that there's more than just me in here, in this room. I think it's uh, one in five Aussies have the same, like some kind of mental disorder that's causing them to not be in the realm of norm. When you do put yourself out there, it is not a bad thing. It's actually the most healing thing you can do. They need to know that the person right next to them can be going through things that they can't even comprehend. I mean, I can put on a smile better than anybody, but they don't know what's going on in my head. When I went to college, I started to have social problems and uh, I didn't get along with teammates. Um, I always held higher ground than them in my mind because I was always thinking about what they thought of me and obsessing over it. And my teacher, she knew I was pretty smart. Um, and she was wondering why I wasn't coming to class, why I wasn't doing this, why I wasn't doing that. So she sent me to a doctor. By the end of it, they told me I was bipolar. When I came out with that diagnosis, it was like all of a sudden I was crazy. Um, it was like all these thoughts I had when I was a kid where I kind of thought I was different suddenly made sense. It was like everything made sense, but also at the same time, I didn't like it because I was different and I didn't know how to handle it. So I even got more socially withdrawn. Um, I tried to mask it by being more outgoing, more crazy, more all this other stuff, and not participating in things, trying to be rebellious, trying to be cool, rather than being what I am, which is just energetic and happy. If I would have been able to talk to myself at 19, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to explain, it's okay, get help right away. Go talk to somebody, go talk to your friends, go talk to people, and let yourself be vulnerable and at the same time heal. I never really had a problem being open. It was just around baseball players, my coaches, the people around me. Um, everybody kind of told me to hold a little bit, hold it in a little bit, just not share as much, just because it's not, it's thought of as a weakness, not a strength. Because teams don't really want somebody that's on the spectrum. They want somebody they can, you know, kind of not worry about. The trend I'm seeing is people are starting to get more loving, starting to understand. Even today, after we talked, uh, everybody came up to me and gave me a hug, and I was like, you know, it's kind of weird of everybody to do, but I also remembered that I've never really spoken to the group about this kind of thing. And also, I saw some guys, you know, with a little something behind their eyes saying, you know, thanks for saying something. That's cool. Yeah. If in any way I can help push towards a better existence for the 18, 22 year olds on this team, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. Thank God you saw it. Thank God, no clue.